If you're like me, you might have spent your teenage years watching the Initial D anime. If so, then you're probably familiar with that throaty zingy and glorious howl of the Toyota AE86 Tureno belonging to Takumi Fujiwara. Well, that howl is real, and it comes from Toyota's legendary 4AGE series of engines. But, in case you needed a reminder, it sounds a little like this. How wonderful it is. It was everything we love from performance engines from that era. High revving, scalpel sharp responses, and naturally aspirated. Sure, the 4AGE didn't make 500 horsepower like its other contemporaries, but it had more than enough poke to have some serious fun in a lightweight package like the Toyota AE86. Looking back, we want to appreciate what a unique engine the Toyota 4AGE really is, and by extension, I want to tell you why I rate the 4AGE so highly, and what makes it so special. It really is a marvel of engineering. The 4AGE is a family of engines that has 1.6 liters of displacement, 4 cylinders, and is naturally aspirated. Though, there is a supercharged variant called the 4AGZE, but let's focus on the 4AGE here. It may seem odd now, but when the 4AGE was first unveiled in 1983, it was quite ahead of its time in that it came with 4 valves per cylinder, and eventually 5 valves per cylinder in later variants. What's interesting is that most engines of that era ran a 2 valve per cylinder setup. You see, 4 valves per cylinder were more commonly seen in motorcycle engines at the time. This is why Toyota asked Yamaha, experts in motorcycles to help design the cylinder head of the 4AGE. The result? A little 1.6 liter engine that revs so effortlessly, you just want to wring its neck all day long. Besides motorcycle engines, only Formula 1 racing engines had a 4 valve per cylinder configuration. At the time, Formula 1 engines derived power from high engine speeds, and this is the same ideology that went into developing the 4AGE. In essence, the 4AGE was a slice of Formula 1 technology for the masses. Another interesting callout, the 4AGE shares a lot with the Cosworth BDA. The BDA was a racing engine designed in 1969 by Mike Hall for the Ford Escort RS 1600. The original BDA spawned numerous different variants which were very successful in various classes of motorsport. It was one of the first racing and production engines to have both cam gears driven by a rubber tooth belt. The 4AGE was also Toyota's first engine to have both cam gears driven by a rubber tooth belt. Both the 4AGE and the BDA also have identical bore and stroke and share the same size intake and exhaust valves. It doesn't stop there, both engines use an over square design which means its bore is larger than its stroke, allowing it to handle high RPMs significantly well. More than just a motorsports connection, the 4AGE was immensely popular in actual motorsports. It was so durable, versatile, and easy to maintain that you can use it for track, drift, or gymkhana. Let's shift our focus on the different generations of the 4AGE. The first three generations of the 4AGE utilize a 16-valve cylinder head. The first of the three is called the Blue Top or Early Big Port. This variant came out in 1983 as a replacement for Toyota's two TG engines. It was mostly recognizable from the silver cam cover with black and blue lettering, plus three reinforcement ribs on the back of the engine block. In the Japanese versions, where a map sensor is used instead, output was around 118 horsepower and 104 foot-pounds of torque. Not impressive by today's standards, but the 118 horsepower was made at 6,000 RPMs, which tells you about the rev-happy nature of this engine and power the AE86 that weighed no more than a ton. Furthermore, it's also 15% lighter than its predecessor, the 2T GEU. In the American versions, this engine had a more restrictive vane type AFM or airflow meter to meet emissions regulations. Consequently, output was slightly lower at around 112 horsepower and 96 foot-pounds of torque. The big port nickname came from the large cross-section area in the intake ports. This meant good airflow at high engine speeds, but a trade-off of lethargy in the low RPM range. To counter this, the TVIS or Toyota Variable Induction System was introduced to optimize airflow at low engine speeds. Eventually, 
The blue top ended production in 1987. The second generation red and black top, sometimes referred to as the late big port, took over and brought large diameter bearings for the connecting rods. The updated engine is also stronger thanks to seven reinforcement ribs on the back of the engine block, up from three from the previous. However, depending on the market, the TVIS and AFM or MAP sensor setup stayed on. But this second generation was only produced until 1988. However, the power output remained largely the same as the earlier blue top. Then came the final iteration of the 16-valve 4AGE, the red top or sometimes referred to as a small port. Compression ratio for this variant was raised from 9.4 to 1 to 10.3 to 1. But why was it called the small port? Well, the intake ports were redesigned to a smaller cross-section, thus negating the need for the TVIS. Improvements to the engine design in the United States AFM version put out about 124 horsepower and 110 foot-pounds of torque, with Japanese map sensor versions making 10 more horsepower. The red top was produced up until 1992 when a whole new cylinder head was introduced. The fourth generation 4AGE, which ran from 1991 to 1995, is also the first generation of the 20 valve variants. Are we confused yet? The silver top was named as such because, well, it had a silver cam cover with chrome letterings. It brought even more improvements to squeeze out even more performance of the 4AGE. The silver top had five valves per cylinder, variable valve timing on the intake side, a higher compression ratio of 10.5 to 1. Best of all, it ditched the old intake manifold and replaced it with individual throttle bodies. The result? Supreme throttle response and drivability in a package that still loved to rev. The 155 horsepower now came at a respectable 7,400 RPMs, with about 120 foot-pounds of torque at 5,200 RPMs. Curiously, the silver top retained the vane type AFM system employed previously in the American market 16 valve 4 AGEs. This necessitated a plenum with intake ports that are far more upright than the curved ones in the 16 valve units. And on to the crown jewel of the 4 AGE family, which ran from 1995 to 2000. The final iteration of the lineage, and also the most magnificent one, in my opinion, the black top 20 valve. Once again, the name is pretty self explanatory black cam cover, black letters. Compared to the silver top, the black top added on even higher compression to 11 to 1, larger diameter individual throttle bodies from 43 to 45 millimeters, hotter camshafts, plus a lighter flywheel and con rods. All of these attributes helped the black top punch out 160 horsepower at 7,800 RPM, together with 120 foot-pounds of torque at 5,600 RPM. Rev happy? You bet. If you couldn't tell, I'm a big fan of the 4AGE engine family. It is a testament to Toyota's engineering integrity that you can still see these engines running around, participating in various motorsport events, celebrate them while you still can until electric cars completely take over, or worse yet, they outlaw combustion engines. To this day, you could still find aftermarket support for the 4AGE, and it remains a favorite with enthusiasts, because it's reliable, easy to maintain, and delivers so much performance for its engine size. If you want an engine to start off in motorsports, the 4AGE is a great starting point. 